Good day, everyone. Welcome to the Blaze Sports Report, and I'm E.T. Stamey, the Athletic Director, and we usually do these sessions when there's no activity going on at Clinton City Schools. Well, that's not the case today. To today, our guest is Adeline Queener. She has qualified in three different events, and she will be going to the Junior Olympics, and with her is her father, Josh. Uh, Josh, let's start off with you just a little bit. Um, eat any parent that's got siblings, that's got, mm -hmm. got kids, uh, boys or girls, has aspirations of being an athletic, I guess, someday when you get a little bit older. When was the first sign that you and your wife had thoughts that Adeline maybe have, she liked to run or she had some talent? Well, when, when was that? What? how that really transpired was is we had, Adeline had tried several different sports and didn't really care much for them. We've tried soccer, we tried uh, some softball, and that didn't work. So one day we get a phone call from a friend that said, uh, hey, won't you come see if Adeline will want to run in a track meet or developmental meet up at Anderson County High School with us. We do some practicing up there. And that's pretty much where it led from. It was, a matter of fact, it was a girl that's in her class, so they were friends. Sure. She knew somebody. Sure. So we started going to AC on a Tuesday, Friday, just as a fun event. And uh, that's where it transpired from. Well, of course, I've been keeping up with you, being close friends with you, and been keeping up with this young lady. And she really puts in her summer work. And a lot of times the old cliche of you lift weights in football of summer, you win games in the fall. So she uh, really puts in her time. Adeline, I'd like, to, I'd like to throw a question at you. You recently went to a very, very competitive uh qualifying event in Hard Valley two weeks ago that earned you the right, whether you qualified or not, to get to go to the Junior Olympics. You qualified in three events. Tell us a little bit about those three events. Um, so I qualified in the 400 and the 200 and the 4x4. Four four. And in the 200, um, I qualified in fourth place. And the 400, I qualified in third. And the 4x4, four four, I qualified second. I've got to ask you this. This is very competitive. If you don't get the times, you don't qualify. What's it like for you to be in an event like this to where it means everything? If you run well that day, everything works out, but not everybody runs well every time. So to you, how, how did it affect you being so competitive or is that something you thrive on, being competitive and good at the same time? Um. I guess um, being competitive and stuff, it really pushed me to get better. Okay, the other kids being, let's say, just as good as you are, maybe some of them's better than you are, does that push you to maybe get to that level someday? Yes. Okay. Uh, where is the Junior Olympics going to be in, and what date? Um, it's going to be in Houston, Texas, and the date is? It'll be August 1st through the 8th. Okay. Um, getting back, I guess, to competing, I think you had a coach that met with you and gave you some tips, I guess, as far as the starting blocks and so forth and so on. How much did that play into your preparation of being good that day enough to qualify your coaches that you were that had that you that were with you that day at the competition? Um, they cheered me on and stuff to be able to help push and to you know. Um, Try to win and stuff. Okay, very good. Josh, let's go back to you. Uh, you and your wife, uh, you're a fireman here in the city of Clinton. Mm -hmm. Your wife works at CUV. Uh, by going through this many, many years ago, I know when the, uh, when the young athlete in the family's got a lot going on, you guys are working. How difficult is that for scheduling to make sure she gets where she needs to be? Well, it's very difficult. With the shift that I work, being a 24-hour uh, on shift, so... You know, every Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, five o'clock till eight o'clock, we're we're traveling somewhere in, into Knoxville, whether it be Hardin Valley, West Farragut, wherever they've landed us a track that are, you know willing to allow them to practice. Exactly. So I mean, it's it's three nights a week, five to eight, and we're traveling, and it's long hours, but you know somehow we somehow we make it work. Uh, it's just you do what you can for your kid to give them the best opportunity. Get the opportunity. Well put. Um, athlete or athletes and then athletics, the big deal I have always assumed is the friends that you make on your teams 
or your competitive level. Is that a big deal with Miss Miss Queener? Is the friends that you're making in track and field? Um, a friend got you in this sport. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. So yeah. you've made that friend for life, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And she helped me understand that um, track could be something that I was good at. So and she kind of helped a, a lot to get me into the sport. Exactly right. Uh, Josh, going back uh, to making sure she has everything that she needs to be competitive. Um, just getting down to this question, because I talked to Ken Lay a couple of weeks ago of how expensive high school athletics has got and what it cost a kid to play high school athletics. Mm -hmm. What has this turned into? Now, going to Houston's got to cost you. Uh, it, it, it is. We've, we've had to plan months ahead. We started right. planning... Uh, for Houston uh, back in, I guess, the end of May, 1st of June, when it, when the schedule got put out. Because you have to plan that far out just to make sure you have a reservation or, you know, you have everything in line to get yourself there if you qualify. Exactly. So uh, you got to do the, you know, there's always that chance that you don't. So as a parent, you just have to, uh, I guess you pre-plan for everything, go ahead and get it in the works. And, you know, you just hope and pray that you make it there. But if you don't, you just call and cancel like anything else. Uh, but it, it, it's been a it's been a several month process to get ready to go. Qualifying in the three events that line that two weekends ago was extremely hot. Best I remember. Mm -hmm. How do you manage that as far as being ready for that next qualifying event? How do you stay cool? How do you know how much to drink? And or maybe you drink too much and you don't drink enough. Who helps you with those? decisions? Um, my mom and dad, they help me um, understand that drinking is the most important part of being able to run. run. Exactly. It's because you always have to be hydrated for your practice and for the next day of the meet. Very good. Okay, uh, you qualified for three different events. Why did you pick the four, 400? 400, 200. That make, I'm tired even saying that. <laughs> why, why would you pick that particular race. That's that's a long endurance type thing. Of course, it's a relay. I understand that, but still, it's a big part of view. It's, it's long distance. Um, the reason why I picked to run the four hundred is because um, I well, I used to run the eight hundred, so now I've had a little bit of a little bit of more endurance to be able to help um, push myself to go through the four hundred. Was that a decision that that you and your wife? help lean her that way, long distances. A lot of times you, you have my, my daughter's son, he, they can, they're fast, so let's just do the 100 meter or the 100 yard dash type thing. But you went past that, and I guess because she liked the long distances, or did you notice she could run for a longer period of time? Well, that was part of being on the competitive team. It's sort of one of them, we walk in and we give our kids to the coaches. Gotcha. And we go gotcha. set, we, we go set in the stands for the most part. We do cheer them on in practice in this, but they make the decision on where the kid should run, what they, what events they run on both, on, I guess their skill level versus their uh, speed and the time. And they try to, you know, mix them up a little bit where they, they might, you know, put a couple kids that are good over here. And then sure. they try to just, they try to mix the team together to get them where they, and then just hone in on the skills uh, to get them through that. I mean, sure. so we just turn it pretty much over to Coach, Coach Mike Miller of, of KYA, Coach Vic Horton or Wharton of KYA, and that's who gets her through the sprint workouts. And so they were runners themselves. Yes, they were. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, we got to go back to Clinton City Schools where you get you're getting your education. Uh, tell us a little bit about a particular year. Uh, what's your favorite subject? I'm reading. Really. Mm -hmm. Good decision there. Favorite teacher? Uh, Miss Poor. Miss Poor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looking forward to this next year? Mm -hmm. A lot of plans. Uh, the the Blaze Athletic Program, we're adding uh, Color Guard, and we're uh, adding cheerleading. Uh, you have any aspirations there? Mm, um, I used to do a little bit of cheerleading mm -hmm. for, like, um, they – we had this little thing for our church, and uh, we would do like these. They had these little basketball games where I got to like do cheerleading and stuff, and so I got a little bit of cheerleading in. 
Very yeah. good. Very good. Uh, Josh, any parting words? Uh, about this this is a big deal. You went to Florida. She qualified there, obviously, to the Junior Olympics. You guys have been traveling quite a bit. Just kind of explain as a parent the experience that you're going through now. Well, from a parent that played baseball in high yeah. school, uh, you know, I knew where the start and finish line was, and that's about all I can tell you about track. But over the past couple of years, man, we've learned learned a lot, made a lot of new friends. Exactly. Um, you know, I'm I'm just a proud parent just to be able to see her run wherever she finishes. So, um, you know, just lifetime chance to go to Houston. So, you know, you know she may not get to go again. And who knows? And it, you just try to make the best of what you got. Well, the support that I have noticed, and a lot of a Blaze athlete, uh, we had a uh, track, the track team this year had 63 on the team. Now, that is interest, and that's, that's support from the parents. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of other uh, sports that we have within, within our program, uh, cross country has uh, 50 members, and of course we go and compete very well. So uh, the parents support and giving their kids the opportunity doesn't mean they're going to be a superstar, no. but you're giving them the opportunity. You just try to give them all the options yeah. as a young child to make the decision as they get into high school, what exactly. sport or whether it's cheerleading, basketball, softball. You just try to give them a foundation as a parent to make the decisions to, you know, maybe pursue a different career in high school for college, you know. Uh, college, they, college tuition's going up every day, so. You need a little help. Every, can help. That's exactly right. <laughs> right. Okay, with the education part of it at Clinton Elementary School, you got to be very proud of the education she's having, and uh, you'll be in what grade next year? Fourth. You'll be in the fourth grade. You're getting old real quick. <laughs> so um, thank you very much, and one, we're very proud of you. Two, uh, good luck, okay? Uh, made any arrangements on the trip yet? How many miles it is? How long it takes you to get it's there? 12 hour, it's a 12 hour drive, hotels booked, uh, probably about... I don't know. I don't know how many miles, but we've got my wife's making a plan right now of itinerary, places to see, places to go. So maybe right you only now, go there once. That's maybe I'll be able to go there once. Yeah. But good deal. Thank you very much, Josh. Thank you. I know um, you're very busy. I've got a hat on right now. It says something oh, about yeah. the Anderson County Fair. Tell us a little bit about that, real quick. Well, July 12th through the 17th, six days, six best days of summer. We hope to see all the Blaze athletes out. That's Teachers, exactly. parents. That's exactly. Um, Miss Quinn here didn't want to probably tell nobody, but <laughs> Tuesday night she'll be walking the aisle on the Miss Ferris of the Fair or Tiny Talk Ferris. That's of the a Fair. big deal. That is a big so, deal. So uh, she'll be out. So hopefully we get some support, and we'll hope to see everybody out at the Anderson County Fair. Good. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Go boys. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being with us today. We had an excellent interview with that line Queen, or she, uh, and she'll get back to us, and we'll tell you exactly how she does at the Junior Olympics. Very proud of, of all the Blaze student athletes. And Miss Adeline Quinn will be a fourth grader next year. Josh, thank you, and thank be you. careful in the uh, next fire you fight. Okay? Uh, well, hopefully we won't have any. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day, everybody. Welcome, and we'll see you next week with another guest from the Clinton Blaze Athletic Program. And when in doubt, go Blaze. <laughs>